In this video I am going to cover 7 ways to make legal money with hacking in 2022. Always you ask how can hacker make money with hacking. Whether you want to take your hacking experience saleable or freelance, I want you to flash back to always stay on the ethical side of the internet. You can't act this like a game. What you're about to do is attack real-life companies. It's about finding the vulnerabilities, not exploiting them. So how do hackers make money? Here are 7 ways you can make money with hacking in 2022. Hey guys, it's John here from Hacker Joe channel. Welcome to Hacker Joe channel. We show you technology like hacking skill, how to hack, how to be hacker, programming language, best website, best things, and amazing things. Make sure subscribe to channel and don't forget to click notification bell. And if you have any concerns, questions, or opinions about this video, just live on the comment down below. So, let's get started. The first way to make money with hacking is Bug Bounty. A bug bounty program, also called a Vulnerability Rewards Program, is a crowdsourcing initiative that rewards individuals for discovering and reporting software bugs. One of the main ways ethical hackers make money are bug bounty programs. These are where companies give cash prices for hackers to discover weakness in their products and expose them. You probably know what a bug bounty is indeed if you don't recognize the name. You know when big shot hackers get a six-figure bonus for a job, well, that's a bug bounty. Big tech companies like Google, Tesla and more will invite a talented group of hackers to hack their software. These jobs are generally posted on bug bounty websites. If the hacker can identify a trouble or a weakness in the software, they generally get a cash reward and get ranked on a hacking leaderboard. Although a lot of hackers who hunt for bug bounties do manage to pocket some redundant cash on the side, not every hacker should anticipate to get a huge payday. It's still enough cool considering a lot of these guys started hacking as a hobby horse. I am not saying the bounties are simple either, so don't suppose the money comes easy. If you want best bug bounty program just type on the comment I will work on that. The second way to make money with hacking is penetration testing. Penetration testing can be an excellent career choice for individuals with strong computer. It and problem-solving skills. The BLS projects much faster than average growth for information security analysts, including penetration testers, from 2020 to 2030. A penetration tester is a hacker who gets hired by a customer to test the needed compass particulars. That's a little vague but principally, when a company designs a new product or character, penetration testing is needed to ensure the product is safe from hackers or malware. The hacker follows a procedure grounded on what they're testing. A penetration tester can test numerous different things like APIs, product features, or a company's structure. Penetration testing jobs are on the rise, which means there's money and plenty of opportunities. However, it'll help you stand out from the crowd if you go get a certificate like a CPH, CPT and OSCP. I recommend it. Also, a great thing to do while you are training to become a penetration tester is to start intimately participating in any word or research you might be learning. Community work is a great look for employers and it also builds up your online character and network. So penetration testing is another great way to make money with your hacking skills. The thing is, it requires further training than chasing bounties. You need to be at a proficiency where you can comfortably work at a company that specializes in penetration testing, which isn't easy since it's a lot of self-learning. There's no academy that teaches hacking. You kind of have to just test and try different attack scripts and be suitable to show it. The average salary for a penetration tester is $118,773 per year in the United States. The third way to make money with hacking is training others. Now that you know how hackers operate, you can help others by teaching them how to hack ethically or defend themselves against bad actors. You can help contribute to a safer internet by informing people about the dangers and training them on how to defend themselves all while making some extra dough. If you are really passionate about training, you could go full-time. There's ample opportunity between emerging technologies and better tools. Besides teaching online, it's always helpful for experienced hackers to share what why to know with the newbie. YouTube is a great place to start for example. You can upload videos where you talk about your experiences and share thoughts and techniques. You can grow an audience and create another revenue stream if you're really dedicated. Remember, it only takes 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time for you to start earning money. If you are camera shy, how about a blog? Write down all the new things you learn. 
There are sites like Medium which can earn you money for your writings and offers a place to grow an audience. Whatever it is, YouTube, Medium, Twitter, the earlier you start building your audience the better. And look, down the line, once you've mastered some hacking skills, you might want to create some courses. There's a bunch of platforms. Udemy is probably one of the most popular but see what works for you. The fourth way to make money with hacking is PWN own and similar events. There are also live hacking events where ethical hackers come together to hack a particular device or piece of software. The PWN own event, for example, is one of the biggest hacking events and takes place every year at the Consec West Security Conference. Participants are tasked to hack a device, such as a phone, a MacBook, or even a car like a Tesla. If they can hack the device, they win it. PWN own also offers cash prizes for hacking software such as web browsers, enterprise applications, and servers. The event has a large prize pool, and the results are covered by the tech press as well. That means it's a great place for new hackers to make their name, as well as meeting other people in the ethical hacking community. Wait, before continue this video, I would like to tell you guys this channel idea is to teach you how to hack to know everything best and amazing things. I put a lot of effort to this video to make sure what is best, so I would appreciate to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And don't forget to like and leave comment down below. Let's get back to the video. The fifth way to make money with hacking is freelancer. Being able to make money freelancing is one of the best benefits of being an ethical hacker. It's a job that can be done 100% remotely and without having to have a strict 9-5 job. Even if you choose to have a 9-5 job, being able to supplement that with money that you can make on your own time is a very valuable thing. For someone new to freelancing I think the ultimate goal is to build a strong portfolio so that you can have inbound marketing, which means companies coming to you offering you work rather than you having to go out and find clients. However, at the beginning of your career this probably isn't practical so I would suggest starting with smaller companies maybe non-profit companies at first. Then move up to bigger and more competitive bug bounty programs as your skill improves. The sixth way to make money with hacking is helping people after a cyber attack. We saw a big increase in cybersecurity attacks on company and consumers. With your newfound knowledge of these cyber attacks, you might be able to help the victims of these attacks recover and if you are providing them with tech support, you can certainly make some good coin with this method. You can possibly offer to remove any viruses that were installed or possibly try to recover data from a crashed system. You don't have to go that big though. You can also start smaller and just help out a family member or friend in need. There's always a relative who needs a repair, and you can let them know if there's a crisis situation you're there to help. It'll prevent a lot of damage plus you'll build up your experience and resume. Lastly, it never hurts to put out posters that contain descriptions of what you are capable of in locations that allow it. People in need might see this and contact you. I'd mention what your prices are as well to help them make a more informed choice. The last or seventh to make money with hacking is doing research into hacking. If you are the kind of person that likes to take everything to the extreme and to be at the forefront of a field, there's great potential in hacking. It might not seem like it because when you discover something completely new, there seems to be no immediate reward. For example, we can report defects to companies that we have found but if they are unresponsive and don't really perceive the threat, there's not much we can do. After the issue has been fixed however, and on the condition that you leave out any details that might reveal your target, it's possible to start writing or producing videos about what you found and how you did it. There are a lot of hackers who are always interested to learn new things and you can get paid to start if a blog or YouTube channel gets popular enough. You can keep growing these social media channels as you go along and make new discoveries. Thanks for watching this video so far. If you like these videos then please share them with your friends and colleagues. If you have any questions or feedback then please drop a comment. And which one is best for you? Drop on the comment.